Ian Thomas, Carolina Panthers tight end, signed a lucrative deal today. Somewhat of a blocking tight end. Will he be uh, a serviceable tight end and more helpful on the offensive side of the ball? I'm sure he will sometime soon. But he got a pretty hefty deal today. It was like a $16 million deal. Three-year deal. Some people were losing their minds. That's a great deal. Good job. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well, folks, whenever someone gets paid, we tend to look at our own team and wonder, oh, oh, what's that going to do for the Bank of Bean? By the way, I, I mentioned the Bank of Bean last week, and somebody was like, yo, I've never thought of the Bank of Bean. That's brilliant. Bank of Bean. Well, is the Bank of Bean going to crack open a little bit wider for tight end Dawson Knox? Because if you think about it, Ian Thomas getting that $16 million deal has Dawson Knox's agent going, hmm, 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 right? Josh Allen got paid handsomely. And thank goodness we paid him the way we paid him because the way this man has been playing, he would have asked for the world. And he would have got it. But he got paid handsomely. Don't get me wrong. He got paid very well. And now other teams have got to make a decision. Lamar Jackson. Baker Mayfield. Sam Darnold. Josh Rosen. It's a joke. But you catch my drift. These guys are now, they're looking at Josh Allen's contract. Like, shit, well, I didn't play like Josh Allen, so I can't get Josh Allen money. But we'll see how the, play, the how the game plays out. Now enter into the chat Dawson Knox. Dawson Knox had a breakout year, a big year, over 600 yards rushing. Excuse me, pa- uh, receiving, right? Just shy of 50 50 receptions. He had about 49 receptions, and he's only going to get better. He just came out of tight end university, right? With all the big dogs, and he had a monster year. In this offense, he had a great year. He was consistent. We could count on him. He was dependable. We could rely on this man. And he proved it. And he he changes the offense, believe it or not. Because you have to account for a guy like Dawson Knox. You can't just, ah, oh, it's just him. It's just Dawson. Whatever. No, no, no. Not anymore. Because he will hurt you. He will hurt you. Red zone, green zone. You know what I'm saying? Backing us out if we're in our own zone, he will hurt you. So there comes a time where you got to reward your guys before they start getting too good and they're going to be they're going to be asking for a lot of money cuz his counterparts are going to start getting paid. And when he sees what his counterparts are doing, he's going to have some questions. So then I started I started looking at certain players that are getting paid so, as I'm looking at the tight end group, I notice a lot of tight ends in this game that it's just the, the, the amount of money being paid to some of these players, you're like, what? And then you look at the year that, ty- that Dawson Knox had, he has a legitimate opportunity because he's hot right now, very hot. He has a legitimate opportunity to say, fam, you're going to pay me. Because I'm, I had a much better year than this guy. And this guy, they're paying this guy that much. And I know I'm going to get even better. And youth is on my side. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I'm looking at the value of these contracts and the AAV, right? George Kittle, highest paid tight end in the game at $15 million. I mean... It's, it's clear, it's apparent, he's a beast. George Killer is a beast, and he's only 26 years old. A couple injuries here and there, but still a beast. Next in line, Travis Kelsey. He's at 14, what, $14.3 million. We already know about Travis Kelsey. That boy, is a, that boy can play. He's nice like that. 30 years of age, still a young buck somewhat. Dallas Godart is coming on, 26 years of age. He's at 14 mil, 14.2. 
right? Mark Andrews, probably one of the best in the game. He's at 14 mil, well-deserved 14 mil. That boy's, a, that boy's nasty. He is a great tight end, right? Here's your top five. <laughs> Jonu Smith overpaid Jonu Smith. They overpaid that man heavily. And he's messing up for the, he's messing the game up for a lot of folks. He actually messed it up because they're like, yo, they're going to look at John o. Smith and be like, yo, they're not going to pay me. John o. Smith, you got to freaking get your act together, fam. But Dawson Knox is going to be like, you paid John o. Smith 12 mil and you got that performance. <laughs> I need to get paid. But what is Dawson Knox worth? What do you pay a Dawson Knox? I have my ideas, but let me keep going through this list because it rounds up by Hunter Henry at 12. They gave them both 12 and a half mil. Ridiculous. Austin Hooper's at 10.5 mil. And here, here's when it starts to dip. Zach Ertz, 8 mil, 8.5 mil, only 25 years of age. Remember, the, Zach Ertz was, was ah, that boy, he, that boy can play. Let's just put it that way. He can play. He was slotted to potentially be a Bills tight end at one point, but not anymore. We, we've seen what we need out of Dawson Knox. He's going to be one of the best tight ends in the game. At least a top 10, top 15 tight end. So that's, that's a great part on our end. We got, we got a good one, right? And we got a good one late in the rounds. That's the beautiful thing about this, right? So Zach Ertz, Kyle Pitts, rookie. Doesn't matter about Logan Thomas. See, I'm looking at Logan Thomas as to the range and where I feel that Dawson Knox is Logan Thomas-esque. It's funny because we had Logan Thomas on our team. Go figure, right? Thomas is being paid 8 mil on the dot. Then you got then it, then it falls up by Jimmy Graham, old man, 33 years old. Rob Gronkowski, 31 at 8 mil. Dan Waller on his rookie deal. Um, Tyler Higby, 7.2 mil. Jack Doyle at 7 mil. And then Cameron Brait. I'm going to end it at Cameron Brait at $6.8 million, right? CJ Uzoma is at 6.1, all right? So where, and then you, then you have Ian Thomas at 5.5. Now, where does Dawson Knox, what range would you, would you start to look at Dawson Knox and where you pay this man? What are you looking at? For me, I'm looking at everybody on that list. He's not near, he's nowhere near George Kittle yet. He can be. He's got the potential. He definitely has the potential, but he's not there yet. He's nowhere near Travis Kelsey. And those are the two top in the game, right? So we, we, it's fair for me to say that. But where does he sit? He's not near Mark Andrews. He's not in, as impactful as Mark Andrews. Dallas Goddard is a solid player. He's, he's very, very, very good for the Eagles. I see, I see him around Logan Thomas and Zach Ertz in the eight mil to nine million dollar mark, max. So I have him. I wrote down between six point five to about nine million dollars, right? So I'm looking at the nineteen mil. You know what I'm saying? To give or take to 25, 26 mil. That's that's actually not bad. But we're paying him that type of money around, I you mean, know, eight mil, nine mil. You need to be, a, you need to, you're going to start to be a focal point in this offense, which I believe he is. He's a focal point in this offense now. He is trusted. Remember, last year and the year before, I was not on, I was, I was not on him. I wasn't. Dawson Knox was just, I was like, yo, you're dropping the ball. You're inconsistent. We can't trust you. You're not reliable. People were talking to, me, talking to me like I was the biggest hater. The biggest hater on Dawson Knox. Well, I was being for real. I was being real. Some people just don't like the truth. Like my man John Yoda said, you can't handle the truth. It was the truth. Until he showed it today. Excuse me. He showed it this year. That he could be a reliable target. So what do you pay Dawson Knox? Because you gotta you gotta consider paying him before some of his some of his counterparts start getting paid. And now you're sitting here in a ooh, okay, you got this guy got paid, this guy got paid. Okay, we gotta start because we did the we did a great thing by handling Josh Allen early. 
So we don't have to get in the whole, you got paid that, you got paid this, where am I going to be? He's right where he's supposed to be. Dawson Knox, I'm saying between six, I say seven. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to disrespect him like that. I'm going to say seven to about nine mil. That's where, that's where he should live at, right in there. And I trust the Bank of Bean to pay him accordingly and what he's worth, and we'll go from there. And let's not forget, man, Dawson Knox is still a young buck. He's still a very young buck. So I'm, I'm looking forward very much to see what we do with Dawson Knox. And I can't wait, right? And just, there's some good guys that are out there, man. There's some good players that are out there. Evan Ingram out there, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be looking to, uh, to get paid or he's going to be on another team. David Njoku. So there's some good players that are going to be, that are going to be looking to get their new deals. Gasecki, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be interesting to see where they, this play out. What a, what a disappointment, Irv Smith. I thought I was going to get way more out of Irv Smith. Way more. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how these, these play out, right? These young bucks, they got to come out and get paid at one point. So let's just take care of our own and handle that business. So what will he get paid? We will soon find out. He's only 22 years old, folks. 22 years old, boy. Good for him. Good for him. I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Dawson Knox come in and do what he's got to do. 